my favorite candy bar. Wow. <laughs> I know a woman who is stunning in every way. Wow. A woman who has a beautiful soul, a courageous heart, an amazing mind. woman who is extraordinary it's your girl birthday <laughs> today i am turning 33 years old particularly this is a cool birthday because jesus christ died and rose on the third day and he was 33 years old when now all that took place dinner tonight ruth chris my husband corey is a wonderful gift giver he got my favorite candy bars, my favorite peach cobbler, and a card. Now that card was the most heartwarming card I have really ever read. It was beautifully written. And then to top it all off, a trip to Ruth Chris. I ain't never been to Ruth Chris before. My bed got me right. <laughs> Now you know for every black girl, your birthday ain't complete without a birthday hairstyle. So I gotta get mine together. Now see that right there? That's my hair without stay moist coils. See y'all be thinking my, my, my coils just be juicy all by themselves. No honey, it's the system. <laughs> Stay moist coils, hair system, get your right, get your tight. Don't let it fool you. I'm straightening my hair after nine months of no heat. Your girl been rocking the mess out of that stay moist coils hair system. Rocking them juicy curls like nobody's business. It's my birthday. I gotta switch it up. Now my hair has gotten thick, thick, okay? Thicker than a snicker, honey. It's because my hair has been constantly coated in the Stay Moist Coils hair system. That's why my hair is so thick. The moisture in the system feeds your hair follicles. So of course your hair is gonna grow thicker and longer. Y'all remember the 80s permanent curl? Y'all, they used to be having your hair juicy and your hair would be growing longer, but then it'll break off because of the chemicals. Well, with Stay Moist Coils hair system, we don't use no chemicals. So, you good to go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. What a wonderful gift, my Lord. Thank you. I did it. <laughs> Four years and I did it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I couldn't have do, done it without you. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me all the steps of the way. The very tips of my hair reach down to the small of my back. I have to say, this is the thickest and the longest my hair has ever been like within my life, seriously. I've been really consistent with my routine. I've been washing my hair every month and then I always follow up with a protein treatment, a deep conditioner, and then I would use the Stay Moist Coils hair system. Since 2020, I have been on a journey to waist length hair. So that's four years. And I fail a lot. <laughs> From not wearing my wig cap properly, I was set back nine months to a year backwards just for, for not wearing my wig caps properly. And then from not doing my treatments regularly, 
it was so many downfalls, you know, cutting too much, you know, I would grow out my hair and then cut too much of it off, cutting more than what I was actually growing. I had so many hiccups. But I finally got it right. And I'm just so grateful and thankful. And Jesus Christ has been on this journey with me the entire time. And I'm happy that the Lord had me to figure this out. You know, at first I asked Jesus Christ, I said, can you just supernaturally give me longer hair? I know that you're all powerful and I know that you can do it. So can you do it for me? <laughs> but of course, he didn't do that. He just helped me to retain and get the knowledge that I needed to reach my goal. So I'm so happy that he didn't just supernaturally give me longer hair like I initially asked him to, but that he helped me through it. He walked me through it so that I can help myself, I can help others, my future family members, and in the future generations to come through Stamps Essentials. So Joelle's hair journey has come quite a long ways. I remember when she was first kind of testing out the waters and everything. It wasn't quite as long, wasn't as quite as thick or anything like that. But as soon as she really started putting in that work and doing what she needed to do, I definitely could see the difference. There's so much more volume in the hair. She's starting to reach her goals as far as the length. It looks good. It feels nice. It's shiny. It's doing what it needs to do. So, you know, as always, go ahead and visit that website because you see the living testimony in her hair has really come a long way from day one to today. So, hey, I've seen it with my own eyes for real, for real. So, hey, check out them products. Check out Stamps Essentials Self-Care Line on stamps-tv.com. We offer high-quality natural hair care and skin care products. Our hair care will restore, hydrate, and retain your 3C, 4A, 4B, and 4C hair types. Today we're going to Root Chris for dinner. It's a, it's a little surprise dinner for Joelle and everything. She didn't want anything too crazy for her birthday. I like to kind of go all out because it's a birthday. You're supposed to be celebrated. So I like to lavish the gifts and everything else like that. But uh, this time, you know, she really wanted to just put on her black dress, put her outfit on, get her hair together, and, you know, do something downtown. So of course I had to come through with a nice dinner. Yes, sir. So while we were waiting, our prize had officially started that day. So inside there was tons of people and artwork just on display. As I'm sure y'all saw in the last episode, uh, there was tons of art officially out there for us to see. So they had a whole bunch of stuff, lots of people. And it was kind of cool just to take some pictures by it and everything else.
So we had to, you know, match it up right quick. You know, I had to match Joel, had to put on the black with the white and everything like that. So we was matching from head to toe, looking real good and sleek, you know, ready for this birthday dinner and everything. 33 celebrating. So the vibes inside of Ruth Chris was vibing for sure. It was the first time that I'd ever been to Ruth Chris as well. I've heard great things about it, uh, but I've never actually gone. So it was kind of our both of our first times really going. So it was cool. They sat us in a pretty nice section, not too close to anybody. And the, the views were nice. People were nice, the waiters and everything. So it was, it was a good time. <laughs> For starters, I had the wedge salad. Now you know I always gotta get me a salad every time. Usually a salad and oysters if they have fresh oysters, but they ain't had no oysters, so I just had to get the salad. So I love a good wedge salad. It had some um some fresh blue cheese on top. It had some uh um bacon bits. It was delicious, a decorative um, dressing on top. It was nice and thick, you could cut it. It was delicious, I liked it. But they Caesar salad that went to the other table, that looked real good too. So they bread it was pretty good. It came out, it was real hot. We ended up getting like at least two to three of them little bread basket things because it was so good. It had a nice little char on the bottom and everything. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. Came out real hot and warm. You could just pull it apart with your hands and everything. And it had its own flavor on its own, even if you didn't use the, the butter spread and everything like that. So it, it was good. <laughs> So the service was pretty good. We had like a, a main waiter and then he had a co-waiter on the side with him too. So they was like each taking turns bringing us drinks. And at one point we had like three different drinks at our table at one time and everything, which was fine. You know, you can keep sipping and eating as you go and whatnot, but they are really good, very attentive, making sure we had what we needed. And of course, you know, they are super attentive to Joelle, wishing her a happy birthday from the hostess who was at the front to just even as you're walking through and all the people there saying happy birthday to you well. So I thought that was a really nice touch um, that they did for her and everything. Yeah, they, they let me know it's your birthday girl and we appreciate you. So I felt really loved. So that was really nice. They, they let you know straight up that, hey, happy birthday. And it seemed authentic too. It didn't seem forced. It didn't seem weird and odd. It, it seems authentic. I really appreciate them. So the food was pretty good. Their quality of steaks is really nice. You can really tell that it's fresh. It was cooked really well. The seasoning could have been a little bit more. I ain't gonna hold you on that. I like me so a well seasoned steak, but at the end of the day, the, you know, the salt and the pepper or whatever they used was, it was still good. And I thought the flavor of everything was good. Even the size was pretty nice too. So they did what they needed to do. Thank you. 
Yeah, I, I agree. It didn't really have much seasoning on it, but you could taste the delicious, beefy freshness of their meat. Like it, it had a good quality to it. But, you know, it, it, it just didn't have a whole lot of seasoning. But maybe that's because they wanted you to taste that fresh, beefy taste. You know, I guess it was one or the other. What? <laughs> I would definitely go back to Ruth Chris. It was a good time there, like we said. The waiters and people were cool. The food wasn't too bad. So I enjoyed it. It was a cool place. You know, that can be a little pricey, pricey. You know what I'm saying? But that's what happens when you want to go to the fine dining in downtown Grand Rapids. So I would definitely go back and check it out again. I would too. I, I thought it was a fabulous night. I, I thought it was awesome. The service was good and attentive. I love the butter and the bread. I love the steak, even though it could use some more seasoning. Oh, you know, tomato, tomato. But, you know, it was really awesome. I really enjoyed the night. It was really special. Thanks, babe, for taking me out on a really wonderful, wonderful dinner. I super appreciate you. You're welcome. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time to freshen up and let's hit these streets. Stay Moist Coils is a plant-based system that admires the attributes of the 80s permanent curl. Our three-part hair system establishes a thick, tacky coating on your hair strands. Once the coating dries, like the permanent curl, you will be left with moist to the touch, soft hair that lasts all day. Definition, reduced frizz, added sheen, and hair movement and mobility to your natural type. 4A, 4B, 4C coils, kinks and curls without the use of chemicals. Stay Moist Coils hair system cannot change your natural curl pattern, but we can unleash your God-given curl pattern. So once we went outside, it was jam-packed with people because our prize was there. So we just went ahead and walked around the streets and everything, just seeing what was going on, checking out some of the art around the city and whatnot. And it was pretty cool.
the night just kept getting better. Now we being blessed with fireworks. It was like the Lord was just blessing us. Like, hey, daughter, son, take this time, take this moment. So while the fireworks are going on, you know we had to hit that quick little two-step right quick, you know what I'm saying? All we was missing was the little eyes, we brothers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? That'd be the jam we be dancing to all the time. So as we were walking downtown, I see this hotel lounge with a whole bunch of black people in it. And they was dressed on nice and all that, coming out to, you know, do they thing. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Let's go check this place out. So inside the hotel lounge, they had a DJ that was playing and they had a little bar where you could get some food and get you a little drink if that's what you wanted to do and everything. And I guess it was someone's party of some sort. I don't know if they're celebrating art prize or just with a get together and whatnot, but the black folks was in there vibing, having a good time and playing the music and whatnot. So we had to go check it out and hang out. This birthday truly was really a blessing. And also, it had warm weather on my birthday. My whole life, my birthdays have been like cold, you know? Like I have a September birthday. It's like the summer is over by the time the 13th comes. So yeah, it's usually cold. But the last two birthdays, it's been warm. And this one in particular was nice and warm. It felt so good. I got to be with my husband. I got to have good gifts and the good food. I just, it was a good night. It was good, a good birthday. And it feels good. It really feels good to be 33. Like I like this birthday. I like being the same age as Jesus was. Okay, I love it. 33, what it do? Are they got Einstein's brother? Yummy. I wonder if they stuff be open. You can do during the day. But why would you be down here? Oh. And, and anybody can come in and buy? I mean, yeah. Actually, you can walk in any building you want to. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I need to come down here and give me a sandwich. I love that place. I feel it. Are you looking for inventory for your establishment? Stamps Enterprise LLC, manufacturers high-quality clothing apparel and high-end professional-grade personal care products. Rather you're a small business, big box store, retail buyer, distributor, organization, or institution we look forward to serving you. Visit stamps-tv.com. Contact us on our wholesale inquiry page. We would love to hear from you.
we need some new water. It's the next day. We still got some festivities under our belt. That's why you kind of need a, a helmet or something if you go falling off. So today we're going on our bike. I figure, you know, we go ahead and ride on our bike possibly for the last time because you know the summer's coming to an end and when it's in Michigan, it gets cool real quick. So figure we get on our bike, you know, ride on our trail and just get it pop. I think bicycle is b bicicleta. Bicicleta. Montar bicicleta. It says to ride a bike. <laughs> He's beating. My favorite part of riding on the bike is going down the hills <laughs> or any area where we're just speeding through. Like, it's like we be taking flight. We be going so fast. Yeah, I would agree. Going down those hills is pretty nice. You get a nice little breeze. Your legs get a nice little break. And of course, it's just cool to go fast on your bike and everything. It brings you back to, you know, like your childhood and everything with you with your friends, pedaling with real fast, trying to go down the hills and everything. So it's always a good time. Ruffling and tumbling in the bushes. And bike riding is such a wonderful way to just relax, you know? Like after a long week of thinking and stressing and here and there and everywhere, it's such a wonderful way just to unwind, you know? Look at the beautiful trail and how the sun hits the leaves and, and the beautiful colors and the leaves all paving the, the ground and, and just the warmth of the sun on your skin and just the, the fresh air. It just all feels so good. I think if, if you need a break, go for a bike ride. I think you'll feel much better. What you trying to eat? I kind of want a, a pizza calzone. I'm kind of feeling calazoni ish. What side are you trying to get? What? Oh, wedges? They don't sell wedges anymore. Oh. They just, they got the little fries. 
So I really wanted some chicken for dinner and Joelle wanted her some type of a little calzone pizza type of thing. Hello, I have a pickup for Corey. All right, Corey. All right. Yeah, sometimes our taste buds don't be on one accord, so we get our own stuff. <laughs> oh, my lord, please bless our food and drinks. Please take out of our food and drinks anything that might be harmful to our bodies and bless our food and drinks to nourish our bodies and to taste good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we just pray. Amen. We made it home just in time because my stomach was starting to hurt. It was twisting and turning and hurting me. I, it was time for me to eat. Mm. Mm, I don't know why my stomach was starting to Maybe I'm just so hungry. Ain't nothing like one of those mm -hmm. hot calazone Subs, they delicious. I had mine with pepperoni, cheese, mushrooms, mm -hmm. onions, extra butter, extra mm -hmm. Parmesan cheese. Wow, it was tasting good. Thanks for the bike ride, babe. That was a good time. So originally I ordered me a nice little two piece, you know, with a mashed potato and a biscuit and everything. But once I got back home, I looked in the little bag and everything, and they gave me a breast, a thigh, a wing, and a drum, two biscuits, and two sides. So I'm like, hey, I'll take it. I'll have me some for today and the next day. Got a little, little rep on the way back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, this weekend sure was a good one. Thanks, babe, for taking me out and showing me all your love and kindness and care in the in the physical realm. I thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> well, this weekend is done. Mm -hmm. Let's see the rest of what 33 will do.